Hi, <clears throat> I'm Gino Herman. This is Sharon Herman. We're the owners of Bistro 63 in Baronet. Um, we are honored to be considered for this grant, and thank you for taking the time to listen to our story. Uh, we opened 13 years ago in 2007. Uh, we've been we've been serving the Cumberland area since then. We're an upscale casual restaurant. <clears throat> See, I'm terrible at this. Uh, Gino is a chef. And I run the front of the house. He has a knowledge and expertise and has taught me a lot. My background is, um, of course, uh, nursing. When we bought this, I retired from nursing. I was head nurse in the psych unit, and now I deal with the kitchen, so it hasn't been a big transition. <laughs> um, we've had our ups and downs through the years. This year has been extremely difficult with COVID-19. Uh, we, we, were, we actually had plans to put a new roof on the restaurant. Um, last spring, but we had, we postponed that with all the uncertainty that we were facing with with the pandemic. Uh, we employ <clears throat> anywhere from right now it's 17 employees. Uh, that rate is up to 30 employees at a time, uh, mostly part time. We do have some full time. Um, <clears throat> We've had employees here that started the day we opened, so I'm very proud of that. And staffing has been a, has been quite a quite a challenge during the COVID with the high unemployment that they were giving out, uh, people being scared to go out in public, um, to deal with the public. Uh, <clears throat> We've taken out um, many bar stools and three tables, so our seating is way down for the distancing and allowing people to feel more comfortable. And this is a time of year when we would normally be doing, uh, November through January, we'd be doing a lot of Christmas parties. Uh, we really have none this year. Uh, I think we've done two Christmas parties. Usually that's what carries us through the slow months. And <clears throat> that's made it extremely difficult this time of year, being that we're going into our slowest time. Um, the catering has been way down. We usually have how many weddings? Uh, we usually do 20 to 30 large weddings a year. Uh, this year we've done less than 10 small weddings, uh, which really kind of kills the cash flow through the restaurant. Um, we don't make a ton of money on catering, but at least it keeps money going through, keeps, keeps our employees busy, it's cash keeps flow. them working. How would you use the money? <clears throat> um, if we were to receive this grant, uh, the biggest the biggest thing we would put the money towards is probably starting with our roof. We do have leaks, and this is a big big building, big old barn um, <laughs> that we, we we can't keep holding together with duct tape and super glue. So we need to, we need some much needed repairs. Um, on the building, starting with the roof. Uh, we, there's other things we'd like to do. Uh, before COVID hit, we were planning on doing a, a wood-fired pizza truck. And <clears throat> that way we'd be able to serve the Cumberland area and surrounding towns about six months a year with the wood-fired pizza that we've been doing on the deck. Um, Which has been very successful. We have done very well with that. And during the shutdown, we also did takeout for the wood-fired pizzas, and that was also great. Yes, definitely. <clears throat> and uh, so between the roof, the truck, and we would like to do an extension on our deck. Um, we, we, we have a lot of unhappy campers because they can't come and sit on the deck, especially with COVID because we're trying to space people out. Um, we'd like to add, add a patio on to the south side of our deck to increase our seating um, for, the, for the pizza and music in the summer on Thursdays. Everything has been put on hold with COVID because we're down 30% um, 30 to 40 percent on our intake here, and as far as um, the catering, we're down about 80 percent. So that's really cut cut a lot, and we've also had to cut a lot of our staff. You know, when I seat the dining room, half of what I used to, or less than half, we don't need other people. And then people are getting their stimulus; they're not necessarily want to, excuse me, want to uh, give that up. Um, other things we'd like to do with the stimulus, or with, the, not the stimulus, um, with the grant money would be to share some with our staff. We want to steal a page right out of what the 5 o'clock did and give our staff some of, uh, some chamber bucks, some of that money in chamber bucks. The staff that stuck with us through the hard time and um, try to reward the people that have, that, that have stuck it out and have taken their hit along with us. You know, the restaurant business has been in our blood for many years. I don't know if you're familiar with the Tower House, 
My father started the Tower House in 1951 and has been a big part, had been a big part of the community forever. He sold it in 1965, but that's where my brother and I grew up. When Gino and I were thinking about buying this place, my father sat right over here and shook his head, oh honey, <laughs> you know better, it's 24 seven. Yes, it is, but he was so proud of Gino and his expertise. Now Gino went to school, I'd like to talk about that a little bit because we've got some tuition bills that we're still paying back. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, um, I got my bachelor's degree in hotel restaurant management. Um, I got my associate degree in culinary. I got my bachelor's degree from Stout. Got my associate degree from in culinary arts from uh, Scottsdale Culinary Institute. Um, decided to work work around the Arizona for a while. Worked at some restaurants around here, and when this place became available, uh, we heard it was closed and and the doors were shut. So we came and checked it out and got in here, opened our opened up on a shoestring and, and built it into a restaurant. And I think I think the community has been pretty happy with us. Um, it's, it's been really good for us. I think the food that Gino presents is not bar food. And, and bar food's great, but he has a little different angle on thing with, with his professional training. I'm very proud of the food that he puts out. I mean, it really good. I think it gives the community another option, something a little different than what what the normal is not the normal is bad i enjoy the normal every week um but it's nice to have another option out there in the past when, when before covid we had done wine dinners specialty dinners all kinds of things and the need is not there right now people are not coming out for those specialty dinners right now but that's when you do six court you know does six courses and we decorate and present and it's different than what's down around here in Monterey. So to sum, sum it up, um, it's been a really rough year and we, we really appreciate you looking at us for, for this grant. Um, we'd like to, the way we'd like to use the grant money is to reward our, our loyal staff, um, fix the roof. There's a lot of much needed repairs and uh, expansion that could be done. So <clears throat> every, every penny helps towards that. And oh, the last, lastly, the last thing we like to do with, with the grant money is join your organization. We think it's a great thing. Um, we'd like to be a part of the 50 people who care and help help uh, other small businesses in the area survive and thrive in uh, these hard times. I think one last thing I'd like to add is we do everything local where we can, whether it be produce, whether it be um, our bookkeepers, whether it be um, repairs, building things, it's all done, whatever we can done, do locally, we do do. Plumbing, hardware, mm -hmm. any repair we have, we do local, everything that we can. Thank you very so, much. Thank you. Okay, this is our kitchen. Uh, this is where we do all our, all our hard work in the back. Uh, we have Richard, he's been with us for a few years. Rich has also been with us. For a while and Jordan has been with us for quite a long time he's our main dishwasher um, they're working hard to get everything ready for this evening hi this is our dining room every night we have a new soup we always run our French onion soup we have chef features on the weekends and Gino creates those wonderful chef features that are outstanding we have fresh desserts every single night and bar features. This is our dining room. And as I said, I had to take out many tables because of COVID, but, and we space them as best we can. I'm just in the process of taking down the, the Christmas decorations, but we like the ambiance of this room. It feels warm and homey, I think. People like it. And Johnny, our bartender, He's a head, head bartender, and he's just brought me a drink. Johnny has been here since the day we opened at 16 years old. I tried to get him to be my son-in-law, but it hasn't happened yet. I'm working on it. So this is Johnny, and he's terrific. I don't know how we'd run the place without him, really. <laughs>